Hello everyone. So I did a multiplayer first person shooter project. Uh, I started it about three years ago and I did 26 episodes and the last episode was done in two years ago. So it was in 4.26 Unreal version. And I have updated that project today into Unreal Engine 5.3. So as you can see here, we have implemented a lot of features, including um, grenades and the when we see uh, the first person character in the perspective of another player, how do we see the full character body and hard elements, how to collect health packs, a lot of stuff and looting dead bodies, vehicles and also we implemented a portal that character can go through and some traps and also a shooting turret that works in multiplayer. So apart from this uh, vehicle part, everything else is working in uh, updated 5.3 project. Because the vehicle was uh, changed from 4.26 uh, into 5.3, now we have the chaos vehicle, but previously this was different, so that's why I uh, removed that part from this project. So only the vehicle part, and also I had to remove some VR headset related functions from the code, other than that, uh, those uh, VR related functions are coming from the third person, first person character itself by default. So other than that, everything else is same as in 4.26 uh, Unreal Engine 4 version. So everything is still working. So let's see a demonstration. Let me play the game with three players and net mode. I'll use play as listen server. And I'll play the game in new editor window. So now here you can see these are uh, the small window sub clients, and this one and this one, and this is server. So where is the clients over there? So now let's first test shooting part. We can shoot and it dies yeah and you can see the changes are also replicated and also it's respawned in the same location uh, because uh, respawn location is the start location so in the respawn location from the previous death you can see a health pack there uh, but I haven't reduced health so let me shoot this guy that means here now let's go now i can pick up the health pack now we can see health is increased okay so another thing now let's test this trap okay i killed myself you saw the trap here, right? Uh, we can kill another character, activate the ca trap from another character, and use it to kill this guy as well, uh, like this, right? Uh, what else we need to test? So here we have the portal. Um, so if I enter from here, I can go through the portal and exit from here. You can customize this portal shape. So now let me place this guy here so I can look at how other players go through the portal. portal. See. So if I jump into portal here, yeah, now you see I'm going through this tube and exit from here which would be a nice addition if you have some mechanism like that in your multiplayer game and the other thing we need to test is that 
turret so for that let me make this guy look at the turret and send the another player here so if I stand in the way of this laser beam I get detected okay now I go detected and turret keeps shooting at me and I died okay uh, I have enabled the line trace that way you saw those lines all right oh here we have a mine so let me let's look at the mine from all the players everyone is looking at the mine now I move this guy over the mine all right now it died okay and also in the dead place we got this loot health pack and yeah so those are the things that i have in this project and i uh, you can download the updated project in the patreon page uh, not just this project all the projects that i have in the channel to the date i have over 1660 something videos in the channel and all the project files are available here so you can download them and use them in your games without a limit uh right so thanks for watching see you in another episode and also if you like me to update this series that i have done on multiplayer fps uh feel free to let me know feel free to uh, comment the ideas topics that you would like me to cover in this series series in future episodes so thanks again for watching see you in another episode goodbye